welcome to another episode of CNC Productions. And today, we're back on Zoo Tycoon 2. Um, I'm not going to be doing a Dino Battling Arena today. Uh, instead, I'm going to do a video that I actually wanted to show you guys a, a while ago, but um, I never really got around to making it. A mod showcase, because um, this game has so, 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 so many awesome mods that you can add to it. A lot more than other games. It's actually extremely easy to find and place mods inside the game. Um, I, I had a lot of modded dinosaurs in my Battle Arena series, but I've gotten quite a few more since then. Um, and today, the kind of mods I want to show you are movie monsters, or, you know, creatures from movies and games that I found that are all pretty cool. So I'm going to go um, find one to show you. I'm going, there is one that's going to be the grand finale, and it's the coolest mod in here, and I'll show that to you last. But, I'm going to go find it real quick. Alright, these guys are up first. They are actual dinosaurs from Primal Carnage. Uh, Primal Carnage Extinction. And most of you guys, or most of you dinosaur fans, have heard of this game. Where the... Okay. Uh, yeah, so. There are, um... These are just, um, three of them. This is their normal Nova Raptor skin. There's also a feathered Nova Raptor skin. Um, not my favorite, but just uh, another example of a mod. And then, because it kind of ran away, the uh, where are you? There you are, the Dilophosaurus from Primal Carnage, which are all really, really awesome. Uh, now, there is also a. Um, you can also, for as you take into, you can also get the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Carnotaurus as well. And even the Pteranodon, which I actually have, but I can't really show it because it kind of flies away. Uh, yeah, there. See? There's the Primal Carnage Pteranodon, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I think the models are taken directly from the game. But, uh, yeah. See, this one is just kind of... It's not very good because it just... It, that's all it does. It just flies around, and it's kind of hard to contain it. Like, I haven't put it in a zoo. I just have it because it's cool. Uh, so there's that. Alright, the next set are creatures or aliens from the movie Avatar. Now, I myself have never seen Avatar, um, although I have seen some of the creatures, and this is the Thanador, I'm guessing that's how you say it. <laughs> Forgive me, Avatar fans, I've never seen it. The Viper Wolf. The Dire Horse. Hexapede. The Mountain Banshee, which is way up here, but it has the same as that other Pteranodon. I'm not going to even place them. And the Great Leonopteryx, or Leonopteryx. And you can actually ride them. So here, let me show you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to ride this thing, because this thing is definitely the coolest looking. See? You can actually ride them. Which is really cool, especially if you're fan of the if you're um, a fan of the movie, which admittedly I am not, but uh, the creatures still look pretty awesome anyway. So I just wanted to show those to you. <laughs> you may remember this beast from Peter Jackson's 2005 King Kong movie. It's the um, Vastatosaurus Rex uh, from the 2005 movie. And although, uh, okay, it is mute. Unfortunately, it, it doesn't make any noise. So it doesn't have any roars. It looks almost exactly like the Vastatosaurus Rex from the movie. Uh, I have to say, a little, a little quick side note. I did like Peter Jackson's 2005 King Kong movie uh, more than I liked the new Kong Skull Island. But that's another, another topic. I do actually don't have a King Kong mod, even though I have that um, creature. Yeah, although I showed um, the Indominus Rex... Uh, in the last video that I did for Zoo Tycoon 2, I did, um, or at least I tried to do T-Rex versus Indominus Rex, and it didn't work. This is one of my Indominus Rex mods. I actually have three that just come in different packs. Um, I like this one, even though, as you can tell, it is mute. It does look pretty good. It was made by the same guy who did, um, the Vastatosaurus Rex that you just saw, One Piece Designs. Um, if you're familiar with Zoo Tycoon modding, you may have heard of them. And then there's this beast. 
And it speaks for itself. This is Zilla. Not Godzilla. Zilla. And this monstrosity is amazing. I mean, it even leaves um, footprints behind. I have to say, and I, ha I have a ton of Zootekin mods, this one is one of the best looking, most, like, most amazing mods I have. And it's also one of the biggest um, creatures that I have in the entire game. I mean, it's, it's huge. Uh, it looks a lot more like the 1998 Godzilla than uh, the new 2014 Godzilla, but it still looks pretty awesome. Now I just need to give it some fish. Yeah, looks really cool. No radioactive breath or anything, but I mean, you heard that roar. It sounded awesome. So that's Zilla. And he's gone. Next up are creatures from the Lord of the Rings. Not necessarily the movies, but uh, creatures from J.R.R. Tolkien's world. And I'm sure, I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. Uh, this is a little mini pack. All of these creatures are rideable, which is awesome. You have the Fell Beast, which is the creatures that the uh, Ring Rays rode. Over here, that's an Elven Horse. And that's Mira, which I think, um, I don't think, it didn't make an appearance in the movies. I, I kind of want to say that it was Elrond's horse, but I'm actually not totally sure. What else? Oh, yeah. Uh, Warg, which you can ride, which is awesome. Ride the Wargs, like the orcs in the movie. Uh, this thing, which is like, um, a snow mumak or Oliphants. And then this, the, uh, normal mumaks. And I'm sure if you guys have seen The Return of the King, one of that one of the most epic movie scenes ever, whenever the Moomox come in the Battle of the Pelennor Fields, in Return of the King. That's one of my favorite movie scenes of all time. Um, like I said, all these Lord of the Rings mods look amazing. Although there are um, a few bugs and glitches with them. For example, the Moomox here, I've tried to put them in zoos before, but they won't drink. Uh, they just they just won't drink. Uh, I mean, I, I tried to, like, correct the problem, but, I mean, anytime I, pl I place, um, like, a water dish, they'll just look at it, but they won't drink from it, and then they end up dying of thirst, which is kind of a shame, because that's a beautiful-looking mod, but I really can't use it, so that's a shame. But, yeah, an awesome little mini-pack. Um, if you search as you're talking to Lord of the Rings, you'll probably find it. It's not too hard to find. All right, this next set are creatures... It says King Kong, and maybe, possibly, this may have been from older films, but, uh, yeah, so you have a few of the King Kong creatures, including the Venatosaurus, which is those, like, raptor things that was in the 2005 King Kong. This one, um, is kind of glitched. It usually bugs out. I don't know why. The feet are still attached. I don't know if you're still able to see that. Uh, let me get it. You can just kind of see there, the feet are kind of connected. But this guy has a Vastatosaurus Rex that is not only awesome looking, doesn't look exactly like the one in the movie, but it is not mute. And it looks amazing. Also, really big, almost as big as Zilla. Hopefully it'll roar for us here. Actually, you know what? Up. There you have it. That guy has a voice. <laughs> and sit there and just listen to that. A xenomorph. Yes, I have a xenomorph. <laughs> One of those creatures where it's like, well, if I heard that a zoo had a xenomorph, would I go? Looks ugly. Looks hideous. I'm not quite too sure about the sound. But... It looks just like from the movie. Has the raptor animation. But yeah, a cool little animal. Uh, not all that impressive, but still, if you're a fan of Alien, you might like that. Alright, so there's um, basically my collection of 
movie monsters that I wanted to showcase to you guys. Some really cool mods and stuff. And, I mean, you can pretty much, you can find these. I mean, if you dig around a little bit, I just, I go and surf around on SATA boards and ZT2 Roundtable and all those sites. However, there's one last mod I want to show you. It is the coolest mod that I have. It's also the biggest animal that I have. And this is it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The 2014 Godzilla. And when I say this thing is huge, it is gigantic. I mean, this Godzilla is so big, it literally can't fit into a small zoo. Like, if you try to place it into a small zoo, it just can't. So let's get a good view of this thing. It's, it's monstrous. It's, it's gigantic. It's the Godzilla from the 2014 movie. Actual is sized. Oh man, like get up. Don't ever like guess up. That was not a sound effect. That that the mod actually makes that noise. Like those those other few noises I put in there, those were sound effects from the movie. That was the actual mod. It's not mute. I thought it was mute. Dang, I didn't even get to see it roar. Oh man. Yeah, that was not a sound effect. That that was the freaking mod. <laughs> I mean for what it is, and for like how gigantic it is, I mean, this thing can't even be put in a zoo. Like, it's just there just because, uh, you know, the awesome factor. Because as you can see, uh, if I can position it right, and if Godzilla could just stop moving, like that take I had of him like rising up, like you saw in the movie, I had to do that like five times, just because he would start moving and mess it all up. But you can see, or you know what, you know what, screw it. Yeah, you can see. Uh, here, along its back, like uh, the textures is kind of stretched. There's other um, parts along the model that aren't perfect, but you're not going to hear any complaints from me because this thing looks amazing. It's one of my favorite mods that I have. And a perfect way to end the, the movie monsters episode, the ultimate movie monster. Yeah, you can see, especially there, whenever it bends its head forward, how the texture really stretches. There again, I don't really care, because this thing is BA. That's not what I'm talking about. This thing is uh, amazing. So, yeah, and I didn't even know what made it to roar. Like, I'm still tripping all over that. Uh, alright, well... I guess that'll end this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, then, I mean, leave a like for Godzilla. Come on. You know, because he, he's going to get angry if you don't, and you don't want Godzilla to get angry. So, <laughs> if you enjoy the video, then leave a like. And until next time, I will see you guys later.